I'm really tired, so let's have a coffee in the afternoon and talk about some new release makeup and beauty products. Let's start with collaborations. So we're seeing for the Bobbi Brown, what I'm assuming is the holiday collection, there is a Pac-Man collection. Now, this probably makes sense because people that can afford Bobbi Brown on a regular basis probably played Pac-Man a lot in their youth because you have to be old these days to have money is what it is. I'm saying it. This, I like quite like the packaging of this. The products seem pretty basic. There's a highlighter. There is a cleansing oil. It's giving me Shiramira vibes. Uh, I really like this primer. It's actually really good. Um, I forgot what it's called. Vitamin Enriched Face Base. That's it. There's a powder and a pretty ugly eyeshadow pal palette. 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 Looks fine. No. Packaging is where this collection I think looks cool because you've got like the game, it looks good, it it's cute and it works. I like it. I like the packaging. Pass. Red lip glosses. Red and brown lipsticks. Powder. There you go. That's the information. Originally I saw this Harley Quinn She Glam collection and I was like, no one needs that. Then I realized, okay, no one needs it. But there are some bits and pieces in here that I don't hate. This eyeshadow palette, I don't like. And whenever they show this pink one being swatched, they apply wet. So I don't know if that's like a water activated liner, cake liner, or if just to get pigmentation, you have to apply it wet. I don't know. This is a bit of a no-go for me. These lipsticks look really cool. I'll show them to you close up. So these are lip glosses. This one, I quite like this swirl. Obviously, if you want to use it like this and you want to take different parts, it's going to look different every time you apply it. But if you mix it up, it sort of looks purple. But applies clear. So do what you want. There are these sticks. They're multi-use face sticks. Um, one is a pH activated one, and then you've got sort of like a caramel and a rosy color. These I want. And they show videos of the melting. Now this, I'm assuming, has that pigment like nail polish um, that gets attracted to magnet, like magnets. And so you can get designs. So when they were being made, they would have probably had a case that had magnets on it and it sort of settled. I think it looks rad. I think it looks rad, specifically this one. And just look for these videos where they're melting them because it's mesmerizing. Eye mask, temporary tattoos. This is that palette. See how they tell you to apply it wet? And it still doesn't look very good. This I think is very smart. So this is hair chalk. And essentially what you do is you clamp them together. I think there's a sponge on the top and then you run your hair in it and it colors the hair. Very smart. Like this. Perfect for Halloween. Where were these? We've got a round two of Melt and is it Bailey Sarian? I don't even know how to pronounce her name. YouTuber, she did a collection with Melt last year. I think it was around this time last year. And this is a part two. This is the palette. In reality, I would use one shade, Buff. So it's not for me. It might be for you though. There's a whole bunch of lip products. I quite like the design on the lipstick bullet. It sort of looks like chicken wire fence. Would wear, would wear, probably not, definitely not. And whatever looks like a gel eyeliner in red a sparkly flaky thing a bright pink blush i still have my stealer one from back in the day that looks very similar to this lashes and a bag with a collar it must be the time of eyeshadow palettes because i'm seeing quite a few of them pop up Viseart is back with an eyeshadow palette that looks like they've just taken a bunch of their past eyeshadow palettes and just jumbled them around and put them in another packaging. This one, that sparkly one in the corner, that like shifty one, I'm sure they had those in other palettes. I quite like Viseart generally, but there is no innovation here. There is no innovation here. It's so, I'm falling asleep just thinking about it. They even look worse swatched. This is the most bland palette. Yeah, I'm asleep. I don't even see that, like, where, Siren, 
Is that sort of special shade? I, I've seen that in other palettes, I'm sure. This is just repackaged eyeshadows, in my opinion. Nomad have revealed, have released their holiday palette. It's icy blue, champagne, warm brown, red and gold. Uh, it's a Polar Express palette. These are the swatches. So very, very cool toned all the way up to here. And then it switches to a little bit of neutrals and warm tone. This actually reminds me a lot of this palette just muted down a lot. And this was their um, like Mount Fuji palette they brought out not long ago. This one. So I feel like it's, again, different vibe. But... A, like a lot of similarities with the red, the gold, the blues, yeah, the champagnes. This is on the level of Viseart. Uh, Skin by Kim Kardashian. This is a holiday collection. There is the most basic... Look, I I haven't tried her eyeshadow formula. I've heard good things of the when she had um, KKW Beauty. I'm assuming it's a sim similar formula or close to it. Very wearable, very basic. So there's a palette, there's lip colors, <laughs> they're all very nude, and what looks like mini lip liners. Yeah, I'm sure she's released this before. Okay, and these. Road Beauty, there's a new peptide lip balm thingy. This is Cinnamon Roll, so it is a nice brown with like a gold shimmer through it, and it's supposed to be released for Hayley Bieber's birthday. So it's limited edition, inspired by her homemade cinnamon buns. Yay. I like the color. The drip irks me. But the color is beautiful. I would try this, especially... Oh, cinnamon. Do I like the smell of cinnamon? I don't mind it. I don't hate it. There's better things out there. But I like this color. On to nails. Holo Taco have the Underglow Collection. So this is like a holiday collection. It looks very icy. So there are six beaming shades in our special Micro Shimmer Formula Frozen. Um, there's a limited edition iridescent collector's box. So I don't know if these shades are limited edition. It's sort of implying that just the box is. But these are the shades. I do like the sort of shifty colors to some of them and they're very icy. Yeah, this one I really like and that one is very pretty. Let's get on to fragrances or fragrances. Um, apparently this Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana scent, the body mist, is coming back in a new look. Same delicious fragrance. I've never smelt this. Um, it's supposed to be coconut cream and toasted praline. That sounds quite nice. Coconut can make me a bit bleh, but I know a lot of people really like it. Is this out? I don't know. You tell me. Gourmand notes, coconut toasted praline, tropical orchid. There you go. Lastly, Makeup Geek Cosmetics. What's this? What's this? So it looks like Marlena has taken over the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Instagram page and has shifted it to a new version or of Mars Day. She did have, I believe, was a clothing brand called Mars Day that she closed. So Makeup Geek, she released, closed down. Clothing line, she released, closed down. And now it's a fragrance line. If you do want to check them out, they are on Fragrantica. And there are six fragrances around. So there you go. That's her new venture. We'll see if it pans out for her. That's it for the week. Let me know if you spotted anything that you're interested in or if you've tried anything. I don't know what's going on, but you tell me.